Well, good morning, everybody. Today is the day I got to hit the road and run some errands, so got everything put away in the RV. Couple things going on. I still don't really have a a new home for the rower and elliptical back there because of where the chest freezer is at. So that's where it stays right now. But as you can see, with the slide in, because I removed the dinette, I still have quite a walkway here. No biggie at all. But it's not going to stay here permanently. Uh, the chest freezer member is taking up its old home here, which is still running awesome. Went to bed last night and my battery bank was at 88% with that running. Obviously it's not running one amp all night. As soon as it gets to temperature, it turns off. So it's not using a whole lot of power for sure. And by the time I woke up today, it was already almost fully charged. It said hundred percent, but now it's a little lower because I turned the uh, coffee maker on over there. So I'll make my one last cup of coffee. We'll go outside and walk around, do our checks, make sure everything's good. Had to put the old two by four in here to pop the rest of the slide back in. I really dislike this slide, but there's always a way around it. Just make it, I know my windshield's dirty. Oh yeah, my windshield's covered with bugs. That's Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Illinois bugs on the windshield there. All right, everything else over here looks good. The bike's gonna stay here today, locked to this uh, pole right here. And we're gonna hit the road, go run some errands, propane, dump the tanks get water and some groceries and some construction wood for projects okay all right here we go okay it's been a while it's been 10 days since i drove the rv no motorcycle on the back it's still in the shop still expected to get done eventually sit down Jax. thanks buddy here we go i'll be back be back to the shop it's uh it's it's tricky because you know you get the stay-at-home orders but then those orders don't have definitions or don't care to talk about what it's like for the 3.2 million full-time RV dwellers who don't have a house. Property. We live legally full-time in our RV and we run out of propane and water and that's not always available unless you get on the road and go get it. Yep, so we got a dump station right here. They keep it locked. You got to pay $7.50 to open it with the Good Sam's membership. $7.50 ain't bad. They've also got non-potable water, water so I can flush the tank, hook hose to this, flush out the tank, and on the way out, as an extra bonus, drinking water. Ooh, let's test it. It's never worked before when I've been in Illinois. Guess what? It's on. I can hear it. Woohoo! We've got drinking water. The only thing we don't have is gas at this particular island. We'll have to go over there, okay? And then propane is right there. So we'll, I'll get her done, get back to you guys in a little bit. I was sitting here thinking about when the last time I was here was. You guys are probably with me, November of last year, frozen here in Illinois. So frozen that both my holding tanks were frozen, my water tank was frozen. I sat right here at this island for nearly three hours with my portable heater in there trying to thaw my poop so I could dump it. Three hours later when I was actually ready to dump, the actual dump station there itself was frozen just two feet lower. So as soon as I pulled my valve, <laughs> turned it off real quick once they, they were frozen. Can't do anything about that. <laughs> Definitely a much better, cleaner, more pleasant experience this time. Ah, oh, yeah, like I like the sunshine in Illinois a lot better. I'm taking the uh, scenic route to Walmart here. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like sometimes we're all just so desperate to see stuff. It's got to be essential, otherwise I can't take the route. Yeah, it's essential, guys. You betcha. Back roads. Oh man. We're also in a interesting area of the country where two of my favorite road trips intersect. Very close nearby, you're gonna have Route 66, which I have done a couple times great historical Route 66 where that meets up with the Mississippi River and the Great River Road. Another fantastic north to south trip. And uh, they converge, they intersect very near here in Alton Wood, Wood River area. Just realized that I'm not wearing the microphone. It has been so long since I have travel vlogged that um, I'm not even, I don't even know where it is. I apologize, the audio could be better. Looks like we're getting into a residential area here. how we're 
going to appreciate life and freedom in the outdoors so much more when everything opens back up. It's uh, we're just gonna we're gonna have a new appreciation for nature and the world. <laughs> I don't really mind the isolation so much because I'm I'm set. I'm good to go in the RV. But at the same time, well, I'd like to be traveling right now. Not complaining. Could be worse. Yeah. You guys think uh, we're back to normal on May 1st? Probably not. We had a 15 day, and then they extended it 30 more days. I don't think I don't, I don't think uh, anything's getting resolved here quickly, guys. So for me, I get to take the RV out every 10 days for essential things and uh, a little bit of nature, fresh air, <laughs> and then back to Netflix and video games. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go to Walmart and get my shopping done. All right. Well, Walmart shopping was uh, easy. They're still limiting the customers, which. I don't know how this works out. Before it sounded scary, they're like, no, only four customers per 1,000 square feet of store. People were talking about there only being like 20 people allowed in the store. It's like, you know, I asked the guy keeping track at the, at the door. He said over 1,000 people still get to be in the Walmart store. I, I don't understand the math behind the square footage or anything, but... Um, it's pretty much just the same old usual. I wore my bandana over my face, and I was I was safe. Everything's good. Stocked up. I'm good for at least another 10 days here. So I'm gonna head back to the shop, my temporary home base. Yeah. And today is Good Friday. <laughs> I don't know how good a Friday it really is. Religion aside, Easter is about. Christianity and stuff. So, oh, it looks like Sean or Jill's here at the shop, We're like getting getting their business stuff figured out. But yeah, we got Easter Sunday, and there's that old scripture I remember from going to Sunday school, uh, where Jesus says, "Where two or more are gathered, I am there." Hopefully, the man upstairs is making an exception here during the pandemic, <laughs> where we can't gather two or more. <laughs> I'm going to spend Easter alone with Jax. It is what it is. Let me get parked, and then we'll talk. I'll talk to you guys, okay? Okay, so I'm back, and as, as you've probably noticed, uh, the drone flies again. Put the uh, new propellers on it, and uh, it mostly did okay. It looks like it still struggles to keep the horizon level. But, oh, some of you guys didn't even know. I think I only posted that on Patreon, the the crash of my Mavic Air. That looks like it's all good, though. <laughs> so that's good. And I put all my frozen stuff away. In my last video two days ago, I showed the new chest freezer. And, you know, I just started reading some of the comments. And a lot of people were pointing out that, wow, Eric, you bought that freezer just to stuff it full of crappy, unhealthy food. Um, I did my 90 days. I lost 38 pounds in 90 days, made some changes, and yes, I may slowly be starting to bring back things like tater tots and some chicken tenders, natural chicken breaded, and uh, I'll either be baking those or I'm, I may be getting an air fryer. Um, also, you'll notice some ice cream here. Let's let's go, let's go look right now. Okay, what do we got in here? Yeah, we got these yummy stofery thingies. Turkey, that's what we're gonna do on uh, for tomorrow. For, no, on Sunday for Easter. Got some of these uh, yummy ice creams and some Mickey Mouse versions and more Stouffer's, tater tots and chicken and corn. And so just, yeah, it's just nice having all that. Meanwhile, in my propane freezer, it's totally full as well. <laughs> lots of corn, lots and lots of chicken breasts. A couple of these uh, Atkins yummy foods. So I know you might be thinking that this is a, a, a terrible idea to just give up, you know, as I've been reading, but that's not what I'm doing here. I'm not giving up anything. Uh, I will not be eating tater tots and chicken nuggets and pizza every single day of my life, period. 
but it sure is nice having those extra little snacks or, or meals here and there right here where I don't have to go into the store again to buy them. I always have them. Uh, they're always ready to go. Uh, where I used to fill an entire pan full of chicken nuggets and tater tots, now I'm going to do 10 tots and probably 8 pieces of chicken. Now I'm going to keep the portions at a reasonable level. I can do this, guys. Same thing with the ice cream. That's why I got the ice cream pops, because they're on a stick. You can't just plop down a thing of ice cream and start, start scooping it, eating it, and just never stop. And just like popcorn, I'm not going to do it every night. So don't worry about me, guys. I got this under control. I lost another pound since last week doing exactly what I'm doing right now. So it's working for me, okay? Yeah. Jackson and I are going to enjoy Easter, and I'll uh, share that video with you in a couple days. Probably on Monday, okay? All right, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>